Hello ladies and gentlemen, Alex Centauri here and welcome back to another video. Now I hope all of you are doing well because I am as always. And in this video, I'm going to try and provide you guys some of the latest news in Infinite Flight. Um, especially regarding the new upcoming 23.2 update, which I have to be honest, I'm surprised it's not out yet. Um, and yeah, I'm really shocked about that. Now also, if you are new here and this is your first time on the channel, please do feel free to like and subscribe. Um, and just, you know, join the family. We're slowly growing here. We are getting very, very close to 5,000 subscribers right now. Uh, this is the worst takeoff I think I've ever done. Can I, can I bring the gear up? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're going to discuss the 23.2 update. Now, I feel like we should just dive into the news. Now, most of you will already know that Infinite Flight have literally just announced that they're going to be introduce, introducing missions into the upcoming update on Infinite Flight. Now, I think this is something really, really cool. Um, it's something that I've really sort of wanted in a while um, and there's an article out about it right now on the Infinite Flight like main webpage um, but you know I'm going to read for it all to you so you guys don't actually have to go over there and read it and I'll give you all of the latest news um, out there for it so we can try and fly this plane as well and read an article um, which is going to be very interesting so hopefully by the end of the video um, I can try and land this plane um, I think that would be quite cool if we could do that in a video because I've never done that before like flown and recorded so, yes, missions, flight training, and free flight are going to be the three main areas of infinite flight. And the way the um, developers described it is it's a new type of flying, where infinite fi flight pilots who are just used to planning their flight, choosing an aircraft, starting an airport, and beginning a new journey. Now, that's what it is at the moment. But how great would it be if infinite flight does all of that for you? Now, pretty much, this is what introducing flight training and missions are. Now, it appears that basically you're going to get, um, you know, the loading screen. Now, the new user interface on Infinite Flight looks incredible as well. Um, huge upgrades have been happening to that, as you can tell. Um, but they have, obviously, I can't share any photos of it right now, unfortunately, um, which is quite disappointing. But it's fine. We, we can live and do that. But however, the expert server, training server and casual server are all going to have these missions. And basically, you can choose like certain routes. I don't know if you get points or anything, or any, like special mission points or something for completing them. Um, it'd be cool if you did, but um, I can't guarantee you do. Um, I think I think that'd be a cool addition if they do do that. Um, but yeah, so you can choose these missions, which are just routes which are planned by Infinite Flight. Um, they're all pre-planned for you, pre-arranged. Everything's all done. Um, and most of them here, so there's quite a lot out of doubling from what example I can see. And they've, you know, they've given you the aircraft, the departure, the landing airport, and by the looks of it, potentially the flight plan as well. Even the stand to spawn them, um, the fuel and everything on them. They even tell you how much XP you're going to earn. So they're really, really cool. Um, and you also get a logbook as well. Now the logbook's also getting a whole new, um, you know, sort of a rebrand. Um, and I think it, it looks phenomenal, that brand new logbook that Infinite Flight are introducing here as well. Um, so that is definitely some progress they are making here. Now, also, in addition to the new look on Infinite Flight, we're going to get the Challenger 350 finally. Um, this aircraft been in the works for ages. I wonder whether they run into a few bugs. Well, they obviously always run into a few bugs. Bound to happen. I wonder if they run into a few more than expected when they were creating this. Um, but I do think that in training on Infinite Flight and the idea of missions is a brilliant step forward, um, especially into making Infinite Flight a much, much better mobile flight simulator. Um, it's definitely you know one of the best ones on the market at the moment, um, especially for mobile devices, well, for mobile devices. Um, and I think there is definitely a long way to go, and there's a lot of great potential with these uh, missions idea in Infinite Flight. Now, I'd imagine training is a bit like the tutorials that Infinite Flight do now. Uh, many of you will know um, that they do currently offer tutorials um, on Infinite Flight. So you can like do tutorials on YouTube, watch them. But I, it, it looks like there's going to be a more user interactive way to do tutorials, which I think, again, is another great addition, um, especially for new users, because I've been playing Infinite Flight for um, a lot of years now. Ah, uh, there's the airport. So I've been flying. Yeah, I've been playing this flight simulator for a very long time, um, and you know, as updates have come out, I've been able to adjust. But as a new user, I mean, jumping into all of this, I can see why it's nerve-wracking. I can see why it's scary. Um, so I think it's a very good idea that Infoflight are now introducing that training section of the uh, flight simulator. 
Now, um, my the, my main excitement for missions is that hopefully um, there'll be like you can make it realistic. Um, and by that, I mean, imagine, for example, you take off from London Heathrow and you fly to JFK. Now, it would be really cool if then like the next recommended missions would be depart JFK and you know, then go to Chicago or you know, go back to London. Or like um, if they did it on airline specifics, um, I think that'd be really cool. So like you could choose the airline, for example, British Airways. Um, and then, of course, it'll be just British Airways routes. I think that'd be good. I mean, I didn't see anything that indicates that. Um, but of course, at the same time, you never know. Um, so, I mean, that would be a cool addition if that is in it, but I'm not too sure. Um, I'm also, this is probably the worst flying I think I've ever done. Like, I've been at like, what, a thousand feet for the whole flight. Uh, well, there's the runway as well, so we do need to land. Um, so, yeah, I think that'd be a great addition. Uh, most of you as well will be wanting to hear about the A380, um, but unfortunately, I have very little news on the A380 for you. All I can tell you is that big beast is currently in reworks in Infinite Flight. They're working their hardest to get it perfect. Um, and obviously, Infinite Flight will not disappoint you. I feel like it's been a while since they've disappointed us with an update or some news. And to be honest, I'm not too disappointed with the 23.2 update. Like, obviously, um, personally, I was not all, um, amazingly excited about the Challenger 350. But of course, every aircraft needs to be updated. And that's a fact we all have to agree on there. Um, but of course not everyone will get all of the updates that they want in the order they want uh, for example I've wanted an A341 for ages um, but of course uh, that's not going to be coming anytime soon but I do think with the new missions it's going to be incredible so let's try and land this plane as well hopefully we can get a nice smooth landing probably not because um, I'm not very good at flying and I don't fly very often it's literally the middle of exam season here at uni and I'm sat here recording a YouTube video because I haven't done one in two weeks um, as you do so here we go we're in line with that runway i'm definitely cheating i probably shouldn't let's try let's try to do it without hud um this is going to go terribly i can just feel it going down here i mean red on red that means we're way too low but i also feel like we're going to stall in a minute what's our speed our speed's about 130 uh we're very low now we are way too low we're way too low we're, we're really low we are so low this is ridiculous i am not a pilot yet Let's just try and stall out, make a little little left just with the rudder. Go on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, um, that was bumpy. That really hurt. That definitely broke some necks. Uh, that wasn't meant to happen. Uh, let's go have a look at that in replay mode, shall we? Um, we'll just head back. I definitely don't have pro, you know, um, before we get about a million adverts for it. There we go. Thank you. Uh, A321. So, yeah, I do think this upcoming FF Flight update is going to be incredible. Um, so everyone let me know down below what you think of the um, upcoming update and especially the news um, and of course just let me know so let's watch this landing and see how good it was so yeah I mean this wasn't a good landing I mean we literally we nearly hit the um, things at the other way but of course we did make it to the landing zone I think yep yep landing zone and boom like nearly a tail strike as well yeah, that was rough, that was rough. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I understand it's not the most exciting news at the moment, but I'm working on bringing a few other videos out. But other than that, I'll see you in my next video. Good night.